everybody. Welcome to Kame House Party. I'm Vince. I'm Aaron. And this is the world's number one bestest podcast, dare I say, in the known universe, covering every episode and iteration of Dragon Ball, uh, interjecting a little bit of improv comedy along the way. And uh, we do this every week because I think we we're born to do it, Aaron. That's what that's what I think. Baby, we were born to to pod. Yeah, yeah. Exa- let me let me belt it out because I don't okay. think they heard you when you first. Baby, <laughs> we were born to pod. Cast about God. Dragon Ball. Yeah, we. Are. Can you imagine having like the doctors like instead of you know how like when you're a baby you remember this uh, yep. when you're a baby and relatives are like oh they're gonna grow up to be this they're gonna grow up to be that. I want to meet a bunch of newborns and say, you know what? I think they're going to grow up to be a podcaster and just see, see the, the parents' like, reactions. Die in their eyes. <laughs> he's got, he, yeah, he's got that, they got that podcasting physique, slumped over, <laughs> sleep deprived. Yeah, your poor baby's got bags in its eyes like he's been editing all night. <laughs> just chill. I think he'd be really good at sponsoring. At being sponsored by G Fuel. Look, he loves the stuff. <laughs> oh, I hope I hope that's what happens when whenever I have a baby. Mm-hmm. Like this oh, well, this baby. I gotcha. Yeah. I I need you there in the room to say Vince, your baby's gonna be a podcaster. And I can look at my wife and say, Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just like She's we so- have Oh, go, go. She somehow has, like, immediately has her bags packed <laughs> upon saying that. She's like, you can keep them. I don't <laughs> want She just leaves. Uh, but, you know, future family planning aside, Aaron, we've got a- another exciting episode of Dragon Ball Z to cover this week. Indeed. But before, before we get into that, we've got to do a little comedy housekeeping. In the form of the world-famous UN-sanctioned one-minute roundup uh, tin foil sound. Crinkle, 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 crinkle. Mm. All right. These leftovers will remain fresh. I put them in the fridge. I think think we're ready for bed. I think that's it. Okay. All right. Bedtime it is. I'll just, mm-hmm. um, I'll just, uh, you know, I'll grab this wax paper and we'll get in bed. Okay. Yep. I'm just going to grab the wax paper. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll bite. Um, don't know why you need wax paper for bed. I'll, I'll, I'll ask what, what you're going to do with that. Well, I, I've been, you know, trying to increase my, you know, sleep score, you know, since I got that mm-hmm. app, it tracks your sleep. And uh, I know I snore and, and like, I don't want the app to know that I snore. You know what I mean? I don't want advertisers to know that I snore. Yeah. So I'm putting the wax paper under my pillow to mask the sound of me snoring. So the app will think that I'm just really crinkly in my sleep. Yeah, the app won't recognize the crinkles. Yeah. yeah. Cause you know, with all these deep fakes, they'll they'll put snores in my team's meetings. You know, I don't want that. I don't want to be in a in a client meeting and then all of a sudden you hear me snoring and you're like me, 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 Which is which is how you snore. This is and, not an exaggeration. God, yeah, no, it's exactly how I snore. And God love you for for There's sticking a, it out with me. Well, look, I like to watch when I like to watch you sometimes when you sleep. I think it's adorable. There is a feather above your nose, and it floats up in the air and then gently falls back <laughs> down. <laughs> ah, yes, I was I was holding it so hard. <laughs> oh, and seed, and seed, and seed. Okay, so listener, that is our. Uh, one minute roundup, her improvised scene that either loosens or tightens our improv muscles to get ready to to do whatever improv is required as we talk about this episode of Dragon Ball that we're going to get into. Um, but before that, we have to get into the one minute roundup proper, where one of us, this time Aaron, because no one swooped in and saved him via email, mm-hmm. 
has to summarize everything that has happened in Dragon Ball in 60 seconds. Because we don't want you to have to go back and listen to every single episode of the podcast or watch every single episode of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z to get out, caught up to where we are now. This is just, you know, value add. And it's fun to watch him struggle. So, Aaron, I have one question for you. Are you ready to round up? Mm, yes, Dragon Ball is about seven magic crystal balls. If you collect them all, you get any wish you want. We follow Goku. He's a little lad. He loves fighting and karate and making friends of people he fights and or fights with. Uh, he uses that karate to stop evil jerks, uh, a little goblin guy, a whole ass army, uh, a demon king who then has a demon son. Uh, he uses karate to stop them from using the Dragon Balls for evil. He goes into tournaments. He wins his third one, becomes the master martial artist, finds love, gets married, has a kid. Turns out he's from space. His space brother comes down to make him do evil stuff. He says no, but he dies in the process. He gets even stronger in the afterlife. He comes back to life, uh, kicks a bunch, kicks the ass of a bunch of other aliens that are from his planet. Then him and his boys and gals have to go to a different planet to get the Dragon Balls because that's where they're from. Uh, they meet the baddest motherfucker in the universe, but Goku kills him by becoming the legendary Super Saiyan. They come back to Earth. Uh, people come back to life. Uh, Trunks comes to the future and says, hey, there are going to be androids in three years. Three years happen. There are androids. Goku's sick. The bad ones are about to wake. Uh, oh, I love it. I love it. You really picked up the pace at the end. You got it. You squeeze it all in there. <laughs> I saw the I saw the counter going. It's been a few weeks since we've done I know. that. I know. Uh, it's it's almost as bad as uh, you're doing stand up and somebody flashes the light on you as you're doing your thing. You're like I know, I know my time. I'm killing. I'm aware. Let, let me cook. Let me cook. <laughs> These people are hungry for my jokes, just like the people are hungry for us to get to the final piece of comedy housekeeping, which is where I tell you, the listener, that Aaron and I watch two different versions of the show. I watch the English dub. Aaron watches the subtitle because comparing and contrasting is fun, and it's provided us with oh so many little nuggets to chew on as we get into the episode. Uh, that being said, we usually start with the title. That's the first thing that's different. So here comes the English title for this week's episode, which is episode 134 of Dragon Ball Z, Goku's Assassin. Mm-hmm. The, the sixth installment in the, in the Creed series. It's the next Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed 8 goku edition <laughs> there i mean i wouldn't hate an assassin's creed game where the whole thing is like you're just kind of training so you can assassinate the strongest person in the world who has magic glass that's pretty good it's just a giant bot yeah you're just training for big assassination boss battles you know aaron now that you say or, that it does exist I, I think it does exist. It's called the Metal Gear franchise. <laughs> Where a solid snake is just training to fight super-powered assassins. It's it's an assassination assassin situation. Mm -hmm. Where an assassin gets assassinated by another assassin. Who's trained by an assassin. Who is the son or clone of the greatest assassin no. ever. Big boss. Don't, don't try and shoehorn your Kojima-verse podcast into this one. Ah, you you've been you've been hearing some of my recordings of hold on, Vin Vindeo Kojima, <laughs> Kojima fan cast, mm -hmm, where mm -hmm. I or I, I sit down with myself and explore the worlds that Kojima himself has made. Oh, and it is so fun and revelatory. Was well, a different? It's two different Vince's every time, and it's a different time period. So there's yeah. solid Vince, liquid sin, Vince, big Vince. Yeah. <laughs> Old Vince. Um, yeah. Young Vince. <laughs> Revolver Osser Vince. <laughs> <laughs> Die Hard Vince. <laughs> but look, we, we can't get into this podcast. No, we can't get into this podcast. <laughs> We're recording this one, and it's now my job to let you all know the title for my episode. 
for episode 134 of Dragon Ball Z, which is too late to do anything? The ultimate weapons to kill Goku. Okay. Hey, the futility of our character struggle laid bare in the title. It's too oh, late. Boy. They can't do anything. Can't do nothing. Nothing but enjoy this intro that I got in the English version. Okay. I, I don't know on. if I, I just got I got one thing to pull out because it's mm -hmm. just the recap. But <clears throat> the announcer describes the androids thusly. Android 17, a black haired boy with super strength and intelligence. Then he awakened Android 18, a computer driven diva with blonde hair and a bad attitude. <laughs> a computer driven diva move over e-girls you're computer driven yeah. divas now baby <laughs> hey hey man stop watching that tiktok she's a computer driven diva it's a psyop <laughs> yeah that's not sigma <laughs> there's there's so many girls in pop culture now there's fall devil girl <laughs> Now we've got computer-driven e-girls. Mm -hmm. Next now, time, now I want computer-driven want... divas. <laughs> now I want NVIDIA Shield girls. <laughs> that that exists. There was during the. I mean, look. Are, are you? Are we suggesting we bring back the mid two thousands of gaming, where if a woman licked an Xbox controller. <laughs> the world went insane. No, I don't yeah. think so. I don't think so, Tim. <laughs> Tim, Tim Cook? <laughs> you coming at Tim Cook? I don't know. I was just quoting home. I was just quoting home improvement. <laughs> I uh... <laughs> This is too uh, We're getting Tim, Tim Allen. Tim Allen hates e-girls. <laughs> he does. Well, yeah, he he'll does. talk about it on his very right wing show. <laughs> I think you mispronounced it, Aaron. It's the very correct show. Oh, damn. Yeah. How about that? What a heel turn. <laughs> <laughs> Look, just like we got to turn the page on all these Tim Allen and E-Girl references mm. to, to the gang. We went through too much. We, went, we ran through too much at the top. We were supposed to sprinkle that throughout the episode. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, computer-driven diva. Right? Yeah. That's a line. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's a that's a great shirts. line. With a bad mm -hmm. with a don't forget the bad attitude. I put multiple A's in my notes because it's she, bad she attitude. A, she has a normal I think she just has a normal attitude. Yeah. I, I mean I'd have a or, bad attitude too if I was asleep for years because an old man thought I was too unruly. Too cool for school. Yeah, because I didn't like to listen to the man. <laughs> Well, think like that in mine, at least that's kind of the first exchange because there's a lot of 17 and 18 just poking fun at Dr. Jarreau. And Dr. Jarreau just, please listen to me. Come on. Just there's the guys out there. Go fight them. Come on. Go fight them. Why would we? We've got TikTok and applesauce. <laughs> You, the, you don't need food, you're androids. Says you, old man. Oh, you're eating full turkey dinners? Against my programming! <laughs> While we were asleep, I watched that movie AI and thought, that kid's got some good ideas. <laughs> Wait, Haley Joe Osmond? Mm-hmm. What, mm -hmm. being, being in an ocean for millennia? I like that. that. Part? I also liked when he ate spinach. <laughs> and it's, he became slack jawed. But it, you wouldn't okay, understand, look, you old fool. It, it's been a minute since I've seen AI. You'd think I'd love that shit. But, uh. <laughs> but wait, is there a scene in AI where he's like, I want to try food because I'm Pinocchio esque? And then they're like, all right, give it a try. And then when he does, he malfunctions because he's a robot man boy. See, this is why you're heralded as one of the smartest beings on the planet. Oh, thank you. No sarcasm you in there. No. Real recognize real. 
And now that you don't have your Ooh. click style remote, what are you going to do about it, Dr. Giro? Uh, I'm going to keep asking nicely, I guess. Yeah. So my discussion at the beginning was 17 and 18 are apparently eternal energy androids, which I think was brought up before. Mm-hmm. And they're like, hey, Dr. Giro, why'd you, uh, I thought we ruled, why'd you make you and 19? Loser androids, you got to suck up energy through your hands. Yep. He's like, is it because we're too cool? Is it because you can't control us? And he's like, yeah, you're too cool. I didn't. They do. It's situational. Like, it's systematically like punk this man over and over and over just, again. They do not care. Mm-mm. Which Mm-mm. is good. He sucks. He does. He does. He sucks. He sucks. Um, the situation kind of sucks. Uh, what is it doctor 18 and 17 are like hey why didn't you wake up this android android 16 what's the deal what's up why not dr jero's like please don't don't open that android's case he's not finished his software's not up to date or something he's like i didn't install the security patch you know uh he's going on and on and on uh what is 17 that is like, you know what? I'm sick of you talking. Puts his arm through his chest, kicks his head off. It rolls. The head of Duro rolls towards Krillin. Mm-hmm, and I love mm-hmm. this. Dr. Duro head, head says, all right, that does it. Now I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. That's great. Let his, let, lit, his last words are, now I'm mad. <laughs> then he I, gets squish oh it, was, uh, it wasn't as good his last words were not as good as in mine because i did not write them down because i thought the the crushing a brain from 17 was probably the coolest thing yeah Th- this may be i think one of the reasons why this saga is it stands out in my mind it's like the best saga right and a lot of people's minds is mm-hmm. the best saga because it it does manage to be a little goofy within this like very suspenseful terrifying moment for the z fighters where they're facing their own existential threat they will all die it's been written if they Mm -hmm. fight these two these two androids uh and we still get we get to see dr Giro get his comeuppance uh in in a funny way that that then gets a little funnier because after Mm -hmm. 17 squishes the brain looks at krillin and says like it just beckons him. Yeah, he does the like, you're next. Let's fight. Baldy, come here. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I'm excited to hear what the what the other Z fighters say in response to this, because I've got some doozies. Oh my gosh. Of course. Because you know Vegeta has something to say. Mm-hmm. Go on, do it. <laughs> fight him. Don't be a sore loser. <laughs> Go. What, you think you're next to be his Gallagher-esque victim? (laughs) You're probably right. Dude must really hate bald heads. He's taking them all out. You're next, three eyes. Huh? Me? Mm -hmm. But there's an eye in here. (laughs) There's no eye in head smash. Come on. Piccolo. He's right, you know. <laughs> Gohan taught me that. So yeah, Krillin, Krillin's being taunted. Um, also by Tien, who's kind of pushing him forward to go fight. Uh, what he says in mine is, sooner or later, we all meet this fate. Mm. Like, like uh, look, you wanted to be one of the Z-Boys. Mm-hmm. This, this, this is the eventual fate. You live by the fist and key blast. You die by the fist and key blast. I was going to say, you put on the gi. That, that's it for thee. <laughs> you know, you're dying in a ditch somewhere. Yep. Or in pieces on, on another planet. Or hopefully vaporized instantly by somebody else's massive energy wave. But also the Dragon Balls can just bring you back. Multiple times. I, I, I right? don't know if Krill. That's the new ones, right? 
because yeah i think it's the new ones that can do that i don't know if the og ones because i think shenron could only bring somebody back once that's why they had to go to they they use the namekian dragon balls to bring krillin back do they when they're when everyone's back on earth word i know this is only like 20 episodes ago but like when everyone's back on earth they use Paranga, right because they do it in like waves because he comes back every like 180 days or whatever exactly yeah yeah yeah. so krillin what i'm saying is that there are ways Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but krillin's not thinking about those ways no 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 he's thinking about all the ways he's gonna get squished um i'm trying to think of anything else i it's just i mean i think it's just krillin getting punked again because he finally like okay i'll what is it sir uh, and then 17 just walks away just walks away total power move got him. i think i think vegeta said something along the lines of like great now you showed him you're afraid he took pity on you this time and spared your life he won't be so generous next time i mean but look shorty it's a hell of a strategy <laughs> If you're just so weak and pathetic, no one wants to kill you, you will live. <laughs> but at what cost? Krillin's just like, I trained for three years just like the rest of you assholes. Just Did you, I though? My, just because I peed my pants a little. I, what's a little? How many ounces is a little? Let's get into this. Let's dig into this. Fine, fine. We can do it. We, we get into this now, Vegeta. Ring those pants out. Put it in a beaker. There's side shit here. Can I borrow this? Thanks. Sure. Squeeze. Squeeze. <laughs> 18's watching and be so like, and that's when she knew. <laughs> Who is this interesting little man <laughs> wringing out the pee from his little pants? You know I can hear you, right? You're speaking out loud. <laughs> I was never pro. That's fine. I want you to hear me, you little freak. Gulp. <laughs> what is... 18, I... what do you see in this punk? I guess we'll see sooner or later, but, like, this is a bad first impression. It's a really bad first impression. And, like, also, Krilla gets cock-blocked by uh, Trunks' massive Super Saiyan key blast because he's like, I've had it with this. We can't let him open that jar. Oh, yeah. They're opening up Android 16, which is a previously unknown Android to mm -hmm. uh, Trunks, which is kind of crazy. Trunks is just like, there was more Androids I didn't know about. Uh, and uh, yeah. Ooh, before I, 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 I want to mention this part. I don't know if you get it. Uh, but maybe there's a part where Vegeta talks about Krillin being weak and a loser. Uh, in mind, Vegeta's like, or. I think Krillin, someone, a human, comments that like, how can they just do that? That that's essentially their parents. That's essentially their dad they killed. And Vegeta's like, who gives a shit? <laughs> Saiyans love killing their children and or parents. Mm -hmm. It's like apparently androids love that shit too. Your humans are the weird. Like he literally says, like you humans are the weird ones. Get with Galac it. Galactic law dictates patricide. A okay. <laughs> if you run out of children, just make more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fire if, up the vat, baby. If they happen to kill you, you are just too weak. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that is that is something that uh, I was I did not include in in my breakdown of the Jiro scene because he's always just like, but but I created you. I created you. You can't do this to me. It's like, of course I can. Yeah. I, just I got did. a bandana. I got, I got a bandana the size of a tablecloth around my neck. Why'd you make me a murder machine? And then you're like, mm. oh no, he's murdering. <laughs> and just, that wasn't my intention. <laughs> and Trunks decided to say like, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll finish this. I got to stop them before they open up that Android 16 or we're all dead. Boom, big explosion. We see uh, that the androids have not been disturbed at all. Not a scratch on them. Trunks is like, that was my most powerful blast. The Vegeta comes in with more slams. Look, 
All you did now is show how weak you are. <laughs> Never let a boy do a man's job. There's something similar. The only thing I really caught on was that he does call his son a jackass. Oh, that's you rad. You jackass. Your blast did nothing. Look. Uh, I forget what the movie was, but I, uh, Vegeta say, look at this. All that buffness for no reason. What do you, what do you work out so much for if these muscles don't do shit? Oh, what is that? What is that from? I don't remember what that's from, but all that buffness from for no reason comes to my mind. Why are you ripped to shreds if you can't rip anyone else to shreds? Precisely. Uh, then Android 18 opens the container to reveal Android 16's face. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> And we cut to commercial. Hey, Riley. Yeah, Andrew. Do you want to make a podcast ad? I do, but what would we mention? So I think that we could probably put together an ad for a show called The Podcast Minds. Ah. There, but for the grace of pod, go we. You know, it's a podcast where we both pitch each other podcast ideas instead of doing one ourselves. Yeah, it's a podcast pilot pitching project. Totally. It's, we should mention that it's a comedy show, right? Where we throw out ideas like getting weirdly deep into the themes of Jumanji. Is that one a podcast? No, no. Uh, I, I, it's, a, it's a podcast idea that is actually a front for me to talk to you about hyperfixations I got. Oh, that's uh, most of the things that you hit me with. Uh, what about instead if we just talked about all the different ways you could do a rewatch of Lost? Oh, that sounds like you just did what I did, but <laughs> you said it in a positive voice. Okay, and along the way, what if we pitched ideas like, I don't know, Epic Rap Battles of Mystery, the Lin-Manuel Miranda podcast? Listen to the podcast minds. There before the grace of pod, go we on your podcatcher of choice on the Moonshot Network. Hi ho! Hi ho! Every Friday. Sixteen's eyes open. After mm. the commercial break, giant blue eyes. Do all three of them have blue eyes? Um, sixteen seems more prominent. Yeah, to me. Hold on. Do we have any other backgrounds here? We can look at that. Mm. Well, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> good view. <laughs> Great view. Everybody can see the eyes clearly. Um, Eight, Eighteen has blue eyes, right? Blue gray. 18, 18 has blue eyes. 16 has do. blue eyes. So I think they all have blue eyes. Mm -hmm. um, those blue eyes will take everything from you. Uh, I'm just going to leave that for any <laughs> astute Boruto fans. Uh, <laughs> that thing that still exists? <laughs> not for long. Not for long. <laughs> just like it doesn't take long for the Z fighters to gawk at the size of Android 16 as he stands up. He's huge, says Krillin and TN. Uh, Tien reluctantly, TN. Mm -hmm. TN's like, I, I'm supposed to be the biggest guy here. Oh, I'm just like, even Piccolo's fine. He's he's from space. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to be the top. It's in my wiki. Tallest human Z fighter. <laughs> <laughs> Tallest, second fastest. Um the 17 to 18 are trying to talk to 16 being like hey so like what's your deal <laughs> what do you what do you like to do and mm -hmm. 16 doesn't answer uh they keep talking to him they're like all right well maybe he only talks about things related to his mission so let's mention goku and of course after mentioning goku 16 almost terminator style is like goku i i forget what he what the quote is but he's like Let's go kill Goku. I, I need to find Goku. Something like that. Let's go. We got to kill Goku. <laughs> Is that going to be my voice for the, for the series? Wow, 16. I didn't know that you were so clearly modeled after a certain voice. I mean, the Red Ribbon Army loves to first terminate. I guess I don't know which Arnold I am. <laughs> if I were to guess... I'd say Terminator Genesis. 
the where, where I'm old. I'm an old Terminator. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But then you 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 come face to face with the younger Terminators like me. <laughs> Young Terminators you all... a good <laughs> rapper name. Just saying. Just saying. Which I hate. Good. It seems your programming keeps you on task no matter what the conversation <laughs> drives towards. It's very difficult to have a casual conversation with my neural net processor. I'm finding that to be very true right now. <laughs> so I'll ask you, you want to get out of here? To kill Goku? Ugh. Assassinate him, as it were? I just kind of wanted to go fly around, but yes, we can kill Goku on the way. Hell, yeah. <laughs> oh, you curse? That's weird. Is, what, do you not curse? For heaven's sake, no. <laughs> the one piece of programming it what can't get out of my head. What if you stub your toe, what do you say? <laughs> if I stub my toe, mm -hmm. I say... Zero zero one zero one one one. <laughs> oh my God, that's the foulest thing I've ever heard. But it's in not front of your English... sister, no less. She's down. Yeah, you two haven't met. Seventeen or eighteen? Introduce yourself. Hi. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, sis. I was doing an impression of you. I was also doing it. It's the fact that we have number <laughs> names, honestly, kind of confusing sometimes. I thought you were talking about me. Let's let's just fly off and end the scene. <laughs> and <sighs> scene. I don't I don't know if that's gonna stick. I don't know. My <laughs> chuckles would ask that they, that, that does stick. <laughs> But it, but that for that shtick to stick, it's, we're, we got to prove it a couple more times. Yeah, we, it, it's still yeah, it's still in beta. Yeah, um, this is this is still the hy hypothesis phase. <clears throat> Are Arnold Schwar Schwarzenegger impersonations still funny? Our hypothesis. A paper by Air. Mm? <laughs> some some suggest the law of diminishing <laughs> returns. Uh, is evident here in psychological pathology. God, I'm just skimming all of my past theoretical psychology papers for this. Webster's Dictionary defines Arnold Schwarzenegger as... <laughs> and we got a little uh, tri our trifold background. Yep, yep, That we absolutely. made the night before. <laughs> night before. Hastel hastily glued or tacked mm -hmm. to the board. Somehow you get a B plus. You're like, nice. Can't wait for the working world to be exactly like this. <laughs> you do. It's if you have an office job, a lot of your work does feel like you're just making a bunch of science fair projects. Yeah, exactly. It's like, hey, I know you've been working, but we need you to show your work. And I'm like, like in math, they're like, yeah, we need you to show your work and also do a presentation. But make it visually interesting. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, look, we're talking about presenting, I'm trying to slide into the Ooh. episode. Vegeta is presenting himself. My, my prime directive. Vegeta is trying to uh, maintain his like superiority, obviously. He, he's all hyped up, he wants to fight. Uh, he's also mad that everybody's talking about Goku. He's like, why? Why are they talking about Kakarot when I'm right here? I'm right here. Fight me. Uh, he wants to go off on his own. Um, <clears throat> Trunks tries to reason with him. Vegeta's like, no. Why does everybody care about Goku? He's not here. I'll fight them. They can't be that strong. Punches Trunks in the stomach. Mm hmm mm hmm Hard enough to daze the poor boy. Flies off on his own. Trunks is like, hey, we gotta stop him. He's going to die. They're going to kill him if he fights them. And everybody's like, all right, let's go. Pshh. Off they go to chase down Vegeta. Hard to catch him in his Super Saiyan form. It's a lot faster than they are, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, that's 
that's pretty much it on that section. Um, we we got a we get a little downtime with Bulma. Mm-hmm. He's chilling mm-hmm. by a waterfall. Yadrobi has to clean up his diaper scarf. Yep. It's like this will never come out. Yeah, he's Literally, right. I don't he- know. What- you know, you know Yadrobi. I mean, he's What'd a right, Yadrobi's having a rough time right now. He is. That's his only scarf. He can't, he's got he's no gotta job. clean it. He's got no job, no beans. Mm-hmm. Bulma's like, hey, do you have something else I can wrap up my kid in? And Yadrobi's like, or because Bulma's worried that, oh, he'll catch a cold. Yadrobi's like, I mean, look, you saw him, you saw him all grown up. He's fine. <laughs> Who cares? He'll be I, no I, matter what. He's gonna be okay. Yeah, I guess I wish that's how it worked. Like you only get you're you're only sick once when you're a baby. Because mm-hmm. that's what she's suggesting. They're just like, oh, if he's not gonna get sick now, he'll never get sick. Look at him. He's fine. Which is whatever. Um, Which I mean, that's a weird conundrum of like, if you see your baby all grown up from the future. Are you less, or are you like, well, they're going to be fine? Yeah, no matter what I do, they're fine. Mm -hmm. Or does that, are you doing that automatically affect their future? Who knows? It's, uh, no, time travel. These are the time travel paradoxes we invite into our homes if we attempt them. Hear that, scientists? Let's not try to go back in time and fix anything. Because Mm -hmm. I I don't know what's going on in that Large Hadron Collider. I'm assuming it's just spinning through quarks and sending neurons and protons through stuff. (coughs) Don't send anything back. All those scientists have their hoverboards. They're just chomping at the bit. Mm -hmm. They're singing Huey Lewis in the news. It's cool in the time that we went to. (laughs) (coughs) Um, And then, I mean, after all this dicking around, Gohan's like, hey, can we go? She's like, yeah, I guess you're worried about your dad or something, idiot. <laughs> oh, I, I guess we should have stopped and built a fire. Who, who knows how long that uh, took? Yeah. Did they camp what out? Did... Gohan, just go. You were going so fast a second ago. Yeah. But, you know, if you got to change a dirty diaper, everything yeah, stops. I guess that's it. You got to change a dirty diaper. Mm-hmm. If it was a number two, yes. If it's an, what I learned from my brother, if it's a number one, fine. They're fine for a little bit. Yeah. Number one, it's you're having way. fun in the sun. <laughs> number two, that just won't do. Uh, uh, uh. Mm-hmm. Matumbo, that shit. <laughs> yes. Go. Whenever your child makes a duke, please wag your finger in front of their face. Do it all, trying to potty out for the first time. No, no, no. Not in this house. Uh, I just uh, I last time I visited my my brother and his family um they're all potty trained but there are some the cleanup issues are not like fully self-sufficient yet right right um, right and I didn't know this oh boy and the kid's like I wipe my own butt I'm like all right and then he goes to flush it, and I get he floods the bathroom because just he just uses too much toilet paper. Ah, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Look, mm-hmm. I admire that kid using. If I have a child, and you're like, hey, try using more than you think you need it to to start. You can always do less. Mm-hmm. You can always do less. Uh, but yeah, I I have uh, I don't have I haven't witnessed any of my friends' kids yet, but they're they're getting to that age. Where they are being potty trained, they're up moving around, talking, walking, that kind of thing. Um, so I've been looking at R slash kids are stupid. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's a great Reddit page where people put their kids uh doing dumb stuff <laughs> online. And yeah, kids they're are dumb. They're their just kids. Yeah. Oh. These adults are slamming their kids, and um their kids are just doing very, very silly kid things like hey uh i just came home and there's black ink all over 90 percent of my belongings <laughs> follow the trail to the kitchen where the kid is just like cackling maniacally 
over the sink like ah, i'm cleaning my hands <laughs> vince are you talking about kids are fucking stupid yeah yeah it's a, it's a <laughs> great reddit page all right i'm just gonna read the description we don't have time to go into this but Mm-mm. just look at some of these kids how can they be so dumb like what you seriously can't hula hoop jesus christ and babies know literally nothing. Goddamn kids are so dumb. <laughs> the internet has given parents an outlet they never knew they needed. Good. They need it. They need it. They absolutely need it. <clears throat> like all human beings, sometimes kids suck. Yeah. And, and just like normal human beings, sometimes mm. androids want to take in the scenery. Because 16, Correct. 17, and 18, they stop down uh, just for a sec. 17's like, what? I wanted to stop, you know, admire the scenery from down here. Also, when a car comes by, we'll take that. Uh, 18's like, wait, why? Why do we need a car? 17's like, because I've never ridden in one before. That's why. Which is just very, very silly, uh, very light. And he's like, 17 asks 16, hey, do you want to go too? And 16 replies, wait, did you say Goku? <laughs> In my and I and I did I I laughed out loud at that line. Yeah. Classic comedy bit. Are you guys talking about Goku? Here's look, here's what you can't say to me. I'm going to think it means Goku. Go to. All right, my mistake. Know you. But what if I want to get to know you, 16? (laughs) Goku! (laughs) Near me? You want to get Goku too? No, I guess maybe I should just bid you adieu. Bid Goku die in my arms? No, no. (laughs) You got one more? I'll just talk about where... After we get the car, what I want to do is go to a deli to get some roast beef and au jus. Roast beef Goku, his favorite meal, would use it to lure him into danger. <laughs> Goku <laughs> loves au jus. Wait, did I say Goku? <laughs> you said both words. You said both I words, know. and I was very Steam's excited. coming out of my ears. Wait, hold on. One thing I have to ask you, because Dr. Zero programmed me with this knowledge, so I want to know if this is in your brain as well. Go on. In the late, in the later early Chinese feudal era, mm-hmm. there's a warlord. Very aware. Named Lu Bu. Do you have him in your database? <laughs> I I understood every I I only heard Goku to be honest. <laughs> also, don't mention an early nine, a late nineties urban brand of streetwear to me. I'll also get confused. I do wonder if, if that guy we're looking for. Ever wore one of those backwards jerseys with the name Fubu? Goku's in a jersey. He's in Jersey. Let's go. <laughs> no, no. Damn it, sixteen. Oh no, I cursed. Oh, that steam's coming out of your ears now. <laughs> Someone help! <laughs> Someone come fight us, please. We can't keep talking. And see. Oh. Um, so a l- some of that's different from mine. They do 17 is like, yeah, I want to be in a car. And 18's like, oh, is that from, is that like some of your remaining humanity talking? Oh. Because they do re- in, because I know we talked about this before, I think. Because we were always like, how 18 having that baby? Um, and because they gloss over it in the American version sometimes where it's like no they were built off real humans right that was the base 
Um, but then they learn that 16 was not made from a real human. Ooh. He's just made from scraps in a cave. Oh, yeah. Um, but then they retcon it later on in a video game. <laughs> they do, don't they? Yeah. They give us they give us the reason they give us who 16 was. Yeah. Prior Which does this. coincide with the way Jarrell was freaking out about him. Yeah, if you if you had to go back, are are we allowed to spoil that? Is that a spoiler? I think that's fine. Yeah. It's an the, iteration. The theory, yeah, the theory is that 16 is the son of Dr. Jarrell, and that's why he was so protective of him and also charged him with the mission to kill Goku, right? I I think it's confirmed in Dragon Ball Super Superheroes. Okay, okay. Because you do follow Dr. Jero's nephew, I think is a relation. Ah, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Man, but yeah, and I can't like wait to see Like they show a picture movie. of Android 21 from the game in mm-hmm. there. I think it's all canonized now. Yeah, yeah. Well, 21 not became canonized. canon. It's not Nick canonized. Uh, because 21 became canon in the after Fighters came out, right? So they introduced so. 21 in the Fighters and they gave that little storyline. You know what had a, a kind of kick-ass story mode? Dragon Ball Z Fighters. It was really good. I was intrigued. It was really and good. The, and there were a bunch of different versions. Yeah. Oh, damn. I hope Tenkaichi 4 is is that good. Look, we mentioned it. There we go. Um, <clears throat> well, let's it, let's get into... Well, yeah, it's we not going to be a fight, but... <laughs> Vegeta. I, let's say this... This verbal sparring match that mm-hmm. happens when Vegeta arrives. Ooh, do you have any good slams from Vegeta? Uh, let me see. Uh, I mostly wrote about how 17 and 18 mock him for being a tough guy. Uh, but he he lands and he, he's like, I'm the strongest being on this planet and you don't belong here. He also calls them because they laugh at him. He's like, what are you laughing at? You're just tin toys made by an old man in a lab. And tin toys can be broken. Mm. Uh, so, like, not the strongest Vegeta slams. Yeah. But he's dealing with a lot right now. He's a... He's, oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, Nick, I was agreeing with you. There's a lot of emotional uh, uh, baggage there that he's dealing with. Mm-hmm. Um, in my, he, he's after they like butt heads, he's like, all right, which one of you going to fight me first? Is it going to be the kid? 17. <laughs> the woman? 18. 18 or the yeah. big dunce over there? <laughs> big dunce. Mm-hmm. Pointy hat <laughs> sitting in a corner. Failed his quiz. <laughs> mm-hmm. In a subject of a Norman Rockwell painting. <laughs> I think I think I want to call Vegeta out for some old school heightism. You ever hear about big, this back in back in the day, big? Oh, people, you're big, you're, you're big, big dumb, mm-hmm. you big dumb idiot. You you tall, you stupid. That's what they used to think about people like me. Then they gave us basketball and everything changed. <laughs> now, if it's you're tall, you're dateable. You're you're uh, you're dateable. You're gonna keep getting promoted whether you like it or not. <laughs> can't can't be held back by the glass ceiling if you keep breaking through it just by walking through the door. Every time I get a girl spurt, another glass ceiling broken. <laughs> you think Sorry Steve Austin's it. coming out to kick your ass? But nah, it's just promotions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's Stone Cold's music. <laughs> He's got an updated contract for Vince to sign. <laughs> it's got his new salary bandwidth. Yeah, you. <laughs> I guy okay, they. Sh- anytime you get a promotion, you need a wrestling intro. Hmm. Oh yeah. Like Vince, I know, or Aaron, I know you've been uh, going to school to get a little bit more education on, you know, Photoshop and Blender and all that kind of stuff. And we brought in the Doctor of Thugonomics himself to bring to give you your your raise. Bam, 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 bam. Boom, boom. Ba, ba, da, ba. I'm just re- I'm like <laughs> looking back and forth. Can't well, believe it. Your manager's like, Aaron, you stop looking around. You can't see him. 
Well, yeah, he's going to pop it behind me. He's going to do the five knuckle shuffle on me. Mm hmm. Boom! Promote it from within. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But it's it's, uh, um. But that's it. 18's yeah. like, all right, let's go. I'll take oh, you. Uh, before before that, seventeen. After they laugh at Vegeta being all angry with veins popping out of his head, he's like, "Is Goku like this too? Are all Saiyans so arrogant and full of themselves just to cover up their incompetence?" Damn. That was the roast that really made that vein pop on Vegeta's giant forehead. You can't call me short. <laughs> like, wait a minute. I, I never did. <laughs> Don't. I heard wires are all saying so short. Is it just to cover up their shortness? No, I, I asked if you were overcompensating with your arrogance about how weak you are. That's what I was trying to suggest. This 5'2 is the strongest height for That's, maximum capability. That is, all of my data shows that that is categorically incorrect. Also, with my hair, I'm 6'1". <laughs> Just so you know, that in, in, in the Saiyan culture, that counts because it never grows. It's just the same length all the time. I, I didn't need to know that because I'm already stronger than you. And you know, I'm, having long limbs is just a waste of energy. You're just, that could be used for fighting. You got to put all the nutrients in those useless long arms. Where, where did you get that from? Uh, Joe Rogan. <laughs> I, was, I was just going to say, I bet you listen to Joe Rogan. <laughs> I'm Sigma is what I'm saying. <laughs> 16, fight this dude. <laughs> I no, <refute. laughs> he's not Goku. Vegeta never heard three syllables in a name. No, thanks. I can't mistake that name for anything else. What? You refuse. <laughs> and so verbosely at that. I, <laughs> it's Goku or nothing. It's <laughs> much like Nerf. It's Goku or <laughs> Goku nothing. Goku or nothing. <laughs> it's, <laughs> excellent Nerf reference. Holy crap. Crap on a crystal. <laughs> Crispy critters, as they say in Atomic Heart. We did it, because that's it. The episode is truly over, so we truly have to thank you all for listening. Uh, reminder that you can send in your own one-minute roundup or reach out to us in any way, shape, or form just to say hi over at commonhousepartypod at gmail.com. A reminder that we have a Patreon. You can go over to patreon.com slash commonhouseparty. $3 donation gets you a one-time shout-out at the top of the show where the two of us, maybe some characters, will say your name a bunch, give it a bunch of different contexts, maybe. Might mispronounce it. Who knows? But, you know, give us $3 and find out. And then we're, we're also on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Comedy House Party. Every Wednesday, we are playing a different game uh, because we have a variety of games and uh, have a variety of fun over there. Got Saturdays is back. Uh, if you're listening to this as it comes out, Got a special guest coming on the 25th of March Ooh. to join me for some hazy gameplay. And then uh, Kame House Party is part of the Moonshot Network. So go over to Moonshots, moonshotpods.com to check out everything that Moonshot Network has to offer. I'm talking podcasts that will tickle your board game fancy, your anime uh, proclivities. Maybe you just like chatting it up with some funny folks. Like if you if you just like experimental comedy in the form of a podcast, it's there. It's informative, and Moonshots has it. And look, I'm on the I'm on the Discord, right? The Creator Discord. There's a lot of stuff brewing for the spring, summer, and fall over on Moonshot. Mm -hmm. So check them out. Twitch.tv slash Moonshot for all your podcast and streaming needs. Yeah, I think uh, just, I mean, it's going to come up sooner than later. May 26th to May 28th is the Moon Carnival. It's a three-day live stream fundraiser event to benefit Trans Lifeline. Uh, they raised a whole bunch of money last year. We're hoping to raise a bunch of money there. I, I won't be there. I'm sorry, but Vince will. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be whole, all up in there. And a whole bunch of other great people. You'll More details to come. 
Uh, yeah. But mark your calendars. That's I think that's if you're here in the states, that's Memorial Day weekend. So a great excuse to not see your family. <laughs> exactly. Say I've got plans, and it's mm-hmm. watching Moonshot all weekend. You can still grill a burger. Yeah. And watch a stream. Wi-Fi works outside, y'all. <laughs> the the government doesn't want you to know that. Two things the government hate. Wi-Fi outside. And <laughs> us ending this podcast. Because here did. we go. <laughs> Whether you are uh, just waking up and trying to find someone who whose name rhymes with uh hot stew or you're just trying to get in a car because you're 17 and loving it you gotta keep keep fighting Yummy, yummy house. Bye, <laughs> <laughs>